Alright, I'm playing this thing again. Uh, I know it might not be that interesting. Again, driving. Not the most fun, but um, anyway, first of all, I'm just going to boast about... Is this thing on two? Okay. Camera two. I want to boast about this guy here. It's my little Kerbal. He arrived in the mail, I think on Monday, right? When uh, people were writing me a lot of lovely comments about the uh, Kerbal thing I put up. So if you're one of those people, thank you very much. Um, no, it was really nice, yeah, to have a video appreciated for it. Something like it. Don't get me wrong, I, I don't have this vision that my channel's underappreciated. I, I know that we have to actually make a good video before people will say good things about it. Like, be on the norm, you guys are always very kind. But, like, this is just coming out wrong. My point is, thank you very much. I was actually quite surprised by how many people were saying shit about it that was good. So, thank you very much, is what I want to say. Also, this guy here, he's my old spaceman. Um, I bought him a few years ago for a video I made with David. Um, check him out. I call him Spaceman Sterling. I don't know what he is. I think he's like some sort of old action figure. Maybe somebody who knows how to identify toys. Is there a way to do that? Some sort of toy archive on the internet? Anyway, he's going to sit in the passenger seat tonight because I'm doing a bit of driving with Robert Plant forgetting the words to innuendo. Tread that fine line. Okay, are we. Is it working? Oh, we are in manual. Fantastic. All right. Okay. I just tried making a video of this a few minutes ago. Felt like I was getting somewhere until I uh, found out that the microphone was turned off. So all you have is about six minutes of me driving in circles with no dialogue. That might be preferable for some people, but for me it's a fucking catastrophe, so... I'm gonna try again. Anyway. So yeah. I know I, yeah, I put up the odd driving video because I had this kind of rule with the channel that we should just put up stuff that interests us. Which is what I do. Oh god! Overshot it. Yeah, I'm not driving like a man who's just driven around this thing 50 times. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't 50, but it was, it was getting there. Pretty good. I was actually surprised that I managed to make it around so many times without dying. But, um, yeah. Waving to my adoring public, as always. They follow me around the race courses of the world. They keep, uh, they keep up with my developments. My, all the deals I'm doing with the big teams. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, I don't know if there is a record for this track. I don't think I'm going to break it tonight, mate. This, that corner there is my weak spot. I always lose too much speed. Oh, shit. Right here. But anyway. Just pop her in there. Ah, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to see if I can overshoot this little spot there every time. So anyway, yeah, that Kerbal thing. My God. I mean, like, you know, obviously, as YouTube videos goes, go, rather. Not, not a huge thing, but quite pleasantly surprised. Uh, I mean, like, yeah, yeah, by the uh, positive reaction. I mean, all the things that I thought people might not like about it were mentioned, like the voices of the aliens themselves, and that's to be fucking expected. I mean, like, I, I think even if I'd really found the perfect way of making alien voices, that some people still might have been sort of a bit, eh, what? Because I just think it's a bit of an odd concept to go with, but I mean, there's nothing you can really do about that, because they... <laughs> yes, I did it again. Um, yeah, but I don't think I did get those voices quite right in the end. It was just a bit... Uh, you know, not quite how I wanted it. But, you know, lesson learned. If I ever make another Kerbal video, I'll do it a bit different. That's what it's all about. You know, I just wish I could apply that same self-improvement to my driving. Okay, here we go. People, you guys can time me here on every completed lap that I do. Just, um, oh god, measure it up, send it along, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. You don't have to do that. Well, like in the old days, all those racing pipes had like their wives and the. Oh god, too much brakes then. <laughs> With the stopwatches, my god, I keep doing that. Okay. I know that corner's coming now. You know, and I just think this thing in my life at the moment where my nephews are too scared to race me. And I don't know why, because I don't present much of a challenge if this current uh, debacle is anything to go by. I'm not that good. So what, what are they afraid of? What are they afraid of? Are they afraid of losing to the old man? <laughs> losing to a novice? Oh god! I keep forgetting to change gears. I'm not, using, I'm not used to using these fucking paddles. I like the... Does the hate shift work on this? Somebody can tell me. Okay, put the brakes early. Just don't go on the grass, don't go on the grass. Oh, I did it, I missed the grass. I mean, I had to slow down to driving Miss Daisy speeds to get there, but 
God, look at the control I'm keeping this back. Yeah, these nephews of mine, they're real bums. Uh, David, especially, because, you know, all these invitations to go go-karting hasn't happened yet. Although, no, no, I am selling David short because his dad was here with him a few weeks ago and he actually suggested that we go to this place in somewhere that does simulator racing. So, I mean, that's a surprising amount of proactivity from David. I'm proud of him. I like him. <laughs> and that other nephew of mine, Josh, my God. I mean, there's another wuss. He, um... He saw how much fun my steering wheel is here, so he got he got his own one. A different brand, unfortunately, which I think was a mistake. Because I can't imagine one being better than this unless he really got into some enthusiast bullshit. Um, and yeah, he still hasn't brought it down here for a, for a race off with me. I think he's scared. And if if I had his YouTube address, I would tell you what it was so that you could call him out on how scared he is of me. Um, challenge him, throw down the gauntlet. Racing drivers don't wear gauntlets, do they? They wear racing gloves. Um, whatever. Throw down the thing. The hand thing that racing man, <laughs> racing man would have on. I think Sterling here has some hand gloves on. Oh god. Um, shit. And the grass again. Alright. Obviously this, this cockpit view is not very cinematic, so we're gonna- Oh god! Right. It's all about keeping the car in one piece, at least for now. Okay, we're, we're gonna change camera, just to give, give you guys something different to look at. I can't do the same thing with my head, unfortunately. <laughs> See, when I make a joke like that, I mean, I'm, I'm being semi-serious. But I am kind of kidding. So I've, I've had a couple of viewers tell me that I'm down on myself too much. This guy was on Skype saying, I go from being ridiculously self-effacing to not quite megalomaniac, but just sort of saying very good things. But I was like, well, you know, I mean, there's some sense of humor about it. Well, that's fine. But the problem is with you guys, because you don't know me, you don't know when I'm kidding and when I'm being serious, so it's kind of probably get a bit confusing, but yeah. Just don't always assume the worst about me when I say something. It could be that I really do need genuine psychiatric help, <laughs> but I, I, you know, I doubt it. I, I'm doing okay. And if it all comes crashing down tomorrow... Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> oh, well, let's have a look at that, shall we? Oh, oh God. My, my car. I don't know what kind of car it's ripping off. I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue, but it is. Spent too much time reading the list of fake names before. With all the cars. Hmm. Oh, it's good stuff, this. Okay, we're going to try and find some trees to crash into. Here we go. So, yeah, David. <laughs> Let's talk about David. I love talking about him in these videos when I feel confident that he's not going to watch them. Um, Master of the gaming tables, that's his, that's his stock and trade. So, um, what you guys can do for me, anyone who wants to win this today's Barry Denon 12 contest, is, um, it's basically, um, you know that scene in Temple of Doom, I think it's Temple of Doom, where Indiana Jones is at the Chinese restaurant and he's in that white tuxedo outfit? Get that outfit, either from that film or from somewhere similar. And then Photoshop David's head onto it from one of our videos. Doesn't matter which one. And uh, caption it. David is the master of the gaming tables. And the more of you that do that, the more happy I'll be. And uh, unfortunately, I can't really. Don't like me, even if I'm a lying, cheating whore. Speak and drive through my attitudes. I'm the first one of you to do that. Well, I can't give you anything, but uh, but <laughs> I'll be grateful. <laughs> Enough of this fucking around. We'll crash into some trees now, shall we? Um, well, we'll do it off that edge over there because it's a nice steep slope. But I'm just getting excited already, thinking about all the great work you guys are going to do. David, master of the game tables. I bet not one of you will, but that's cool because it's totally a stupid request. But I always like, I, I like being surprised by the, the depth of people doing it. Oh, shit! <laughs> my auto! Oh, my auto is kaput! Not bad, eh? Can hear Brian May singing to my iTunes. I wonder if we can just bingle it here against the garage. Oh, let's have a look at that, shall we? Oh, damn. I love the damage modelling in this shit, though. But I mean, seriously. In case it's not obvious, maybe I, maybe I forgot to mention it. Uh, I have bought this now. I'm now a... a oh, God. A real customer of Beam Nougat. 
Drive, I don't know what you call it, is it just called Drive? Beam Nook is the company that make it. I don't know. Anyway, it's now mine. I'm a customer. I have a cereal. <laughs> Sorry, I love being official. It makes me feel good. So much better than the old days when I just torrent everything. Oh god, shit! <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. They need to make a tunnel map so you can pull a Princess Diana. Get away, you nasty photographers! Sorry, I shouldn't joke about that. I love the conspiracy theories about that, though. <laughs> but you know, you know how I feel about conspiracy theories. Oh, look at the turning radius of this car. I tell you, it's got everything. It's got wheels and a steering wheel and inside of the car so you can control them. It's got a window to stop the insects from hitting you in the face. Can take this corner like a champion. No grass today, Scotty. My lawn mowing days are over. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I do... For somebody who's not actually showing any improvement, I spend a lot of time in these racing games, but it's just, as soon as I stop, I really forget, I just forget how they work. Each one controls a little differently, I don't know, I'm just, I'm not, it's not good. <laughs> but having said that, when um, the next Formula One thing comes out, that might be in a month or two, um, I might give that a go, because, uh, fuck. I always like trying something new, and uh, I want to see if the multiplayer is any good, like if it, if it exists even. Oh god. Maybe somebody can fill me in there. I just want to play with people, you know? Um, because I really have... Just... I can't get any further playing with myself. I need somebody else to play with. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm the worst deviant. Seriously, you guys don't even know. Um, okay, here we go. Woo oh, God, the rocks! Yeah, you know, you know what a funny thing I read today? There's another one of these reports where Dan Aykroyd was talking about how they would make another Ghostbusters film, with or without Bill Murray. Do you know how pathetic that would be? Just... I mean, I know one man does not a movie make, but seriously, watch the first Ghostbusters. And tell me that film would work without Bill Murray. Um, just, just, you know, seriously. Dan Aykroyd, you sad fuck. Get a life. And that's how I feel about that. Alright, enough of this thing. I'm going to find out what else I'm going to play tonight. Probably just Mountain Blade, I don't know. We'll see.